What is up guys, so you probably already read in the title, the Galaxy S5 was unveiled yesterday at Mobile World Congress, which is going on right now in Barcelona, and it was unveiled alongside some, alongside some new Galaxy Gear devices. And for those who haven't seen it yet, here are a few snapshots right now on the screen for you guys to check it out. And tweet me at TechSnackles or leave a comment down below telling me what you think about this new design, which is not really new, it still mainly keeps the form factor, which we'll talk about in a second, uh, as the Galaxy S3 and Galaxy S4. So there was a lot of speculation towards this device and kind of a build up and kind of a hype towards it. I actually did a video a while back on rumors and predictions on this device, on Galaxy S5, and it, it just recently hit half a million views, which is quite a lot. So there is definitely a little bit of interest from people in this device. But it turned out to not be what we were kind of expecting. We were expecting something a little bit revolutionary, a bit of a leap forward, but it turned out to be kind of a Galaxy 4S, which is what people have been saying. Because there's really nothing very big or surprising with that will make you jump out of your seat with this new Galaxy S4. It's just mainly a slight improvement over the Galaxy S4. Maybe one of the things that will make you jump out of the seat is this new back. It kind of looks weird. Maybe you're a fan of it and maybe you don't like it like me me and it kind of looks weird it's still plastic although it looks kind of rubbery and it's not the same as the galaxy note 3 uh, the fake stitching and it's not the old galaxy s4 for example very slippery plastic on the back this is actually kind of a nexus 7 previous next generation nexus 7 looking back which i was a fan of the texture it was really nice on the hand so i'll have to save my judgment until i actually touch the phone and see if there's a reason for this back being like it is but right now from images it doesn't look very nice to have it also comes in four colors it comes in the standard obviously black and white and also comes in this new shocking blue kind of color and also weird looking in my opinion gold version also something weird and surprising is that they have a heart rate monitor on the back of the phone right under the camera i'm not sure how many people use that but it's there just in case um, you might want to track your fitness levels but everything else is just a slight bump up from the galaxy s4 so let's just quickly compare it and also talk about some of the main new features and something that is making headlines now just for a quick comparison, here are the Galaxy S4 specs and now here are the Galaxy S5 specs. As you can see, the screen has been slightly upgraded to a 5.1 inch screen, it's still Full HD obviously, and it has a new display, it's FHD Super AMOLED, which is obviously an upgrade. The chip has also been upgraded in terms of speed, it's now 2.5 GHz quad core, and in terms of cores, it's a slight downgrade from Octa cores in terms of the international version. And the camera has also been upgraded to 60 megapixel from 30 megapixels, and the battery is off from 2600 milliamps to 2800 milliamps. But there are some features that require honorable mentions, like the fingerprint scanner included in a home button, the dust and water resistance, which is certificate IP67. Do not confuse this with waterproof, it is not waterproof. And also the 0 0.3 second time to focus, and also 4K video recording. So, as you can see, just just mainly slight predictable uh, improvements have been made and on the software side there have been a few improvements I don't know I don't think uh, Samsung is calling touch with it touch with anymore it's kind of a they call it UX kind of thing going on there is a few visual visual tweaks as we expect from Samsung there are a few new effects there are also kind of new UI for settings and yet I have to see that in person to see if I actually like it or not and there are just new effects as usual as you would expect from Samsung and just visual tweaks. I haven't seen this device, so I'll leave a link in the description down below for people that have actually touched and have hands-on videos on it. Overall, just a good solid improvement over the Galaxy S4, which is not bad at all, but nothing really big to make like big headlines around the show. It's meant to be released April 11th, but there is no word on pricing yet. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get one, uh, but if you want to see a review on this channel of the Galaxy S5, be sure to leave a comment down below. I'll try and get my hands on one. Also, tweet me at TechSnackles and tell me your thoughts on the Galaxy S5. Do you like it? Was it what you were expecting or not? And basically, that was all for now. It's kind of a news flash. I decided to do this video kind of a last minute. So sorry for the mistakes I probably made in this video. But thanks as always for watching. And for more videos like these, be sure to subscribe. And also like down below if this was informative and you enjoy videos like these. And basically, that's it. And I'll see you all in the next one.